Sarah from Average Betty here at the fourth annual Los Angeles Times The Taste at Paramount Pictures Studios in Hollywood. Looks like I picked the wrong week to fire my agent. I'm here with Michael Simaresti, chef owner of Providence in LA, Win Tran of Starry Kitchen. If you were to get a pie in the face, what kind of pie would you want it to be? Uh, shaving cream. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because it's a tradition in Major League Baseball, right? You have a great game, you walk off home run, pitch a no hitter, something like that. Uh, you get a shaving cream pie in the face. Uh, and, uh, you know, that just sounds great, you know? I mean, I can't be a Major League Baseball player, but maybe one day I'll get a shaving cream pie in the face. Totally. Yeah. Well, and you could get a shave maybe afterwards. That's right, That's right. yeah. <laughs> What's more important, knife skills or keeping up on social media? Well, being that I'm a social media whore, you'd think I would say social media, but I own a restaurant, so knife skills by far. Because if people come to the restaurant and the food's crappy, then why, why even put it out there? Knife skills. Nice. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Never have blank in the kitchen. <clears throat> wow, that's a good one. Never have a fire. <laughs> Never have a fire in the kitchen. That's horrible. A fire is bad pretty much anywhere except in the grill. Um, but uh, yeah, never have a fire in the kitchen. So twerking is totally okay. No, tw <laughs> okay, let me take that back. Let's do this again. Never have a twerking Miley Cyrus in your kitchen. Who would win in a fight, a Philly cheesesteak or a New York cheesecake? I have a really special place in my heart for New York cheesecake, by far. I mean, the amount of work that goes into it, and how much love it goes into it, and how f Oh wait, I can't curse that. <laughs> how really tasty and rich and creamy. I used to make, I used to be so obsessed with New York cheesecakes, I used to make them. I used to make like 10 or 20 a week as like an 18 year old kid. But you know, I was straight, so which didn't really make sense to a lot of people. My mom was really questioning my sexuality too. There's nothing wrong with that, obviously, you know, whether you know your sexual preference, but I really love cheesecake. So cheesecake will beat up Philly cheesesteak. Right now I'm serving some fresh squash blossom quesadillas with huitlacoche and a tomatillo and a pasote sauce. Russ Parsons, the editor-in-chief of the Los Angeles Times food section, claims to have a better beard than you. Are you yeah. aware of this? I, yeah, no, I'm aware. We were together on Monday. Today, we, today, as we stand here, is Saturday. And, and Monday, we did a radio interview together. And uh, I, it, my beard was so imposing and, uh, and, and magnificent that I decided that before Saturday, I needed to trim it because I didn't want to Russ to feel bad. It's the Los Angeles Times The Taste Beard Off with Michael Simaresti and Russ Parsons. I want you to decide whose beard is better. I'm, I'm not even going to preen mine because I think it's obvious. I mean, Russ, I don't know, he's going through these motions trying to make it look better. Mine, clearly the winner. I think if you're going by volume, Michael definitely has an edge. But, you know, I, I gave up trying to prove something a long time ago, and now it's just, it's about the finesse. Mm -hmm. It's about the class. It's about the polish. It's kind of, it's that elegance that I bring to the beard that I think gives me the edge. I just have to say, I'm glad I don't even rank in this competition. <laughs> <laughs> Cloned meat, yay or nay? Uh... Man, there, that's yay. Yay, but you know, for, for the reason alone that, yes, we want everyone to eat really good food and all that, but guess what? Sometimes there's not enough food for the world, so let's just clone it. It's not to say that, at least just label it. How about that? Like the, like the non-GMO, that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Truth or dare? Truth. Truth or dare? Dare. Is it true that you're the father of my baby? <laughs> no, it's not true. We've just met. <laughs> Darn, I dare you to rub my baby bump. With my head? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why, how, how much of a dare is that? People, random people, it's like a pet, right? It's like a pet. People, will, random people will come up and like, can I, can I rub it? They don't, they don't even ask. They don't really ask. Well, I don't ask people about pets either. I usually, before they bite me, like, can I? Ah! Pleasure speaking with you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Win, thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you.